Steve Austin is on a mission to understand aging and how to control it. He zeroed in on birds and bats. A bat is basically a mouse or a shrew with wings, except they expend even more energy than a mouse or a shrew, and, and yet they live uh, many, many times longer, probably 10 to 50 times longer than a mouse or a shrew would live in the wild. How they do it is, is, is the great unanswered question. Something in the bat's makeup enables them to slow down aging. And Steve thinks he might soon unlock this secret for the benefit of us all. So I have a wager about when we will have the first real living 150-year-old human. Uh, we each put $150 in a trust account, and we've calculated that over the next 150 years, which is the time that I predicted we'd have somebody that lived that old, that amount of money should grow to about $500 million. If Steve Austin is right, we'll soon be doubling our lifespan. Now, if at the year 2150, a scientifically reputable authority says that there is truly 150-year-old alive, then my descendants, or in the best case scenario, I will get all the accumulated money. And I'm quite confident that I'm gonna win this bet. <laughs> he has reason to be confident. Animals like the Galapagos tortoise have already reached 150. Animals age at incredibly different rates. Some rip through life at a frantic pace, while others go on and on. A hummingbird lives life in fast forward. It's born, reproduces, and dies in just four years. While a sloth takes its time, slowly living out its days to the grand old age of 20. A mayfly is born and dies on the very same day. But a blue macaw lives on into its 80s and shows little sign of aging. At 4,000 years old, this bristlecone pine is the oldest living thing on our planet. If we can understand how some animals hold back the effects of time, it could help us to win the war on aging. Steve Austin thinks the key is oxygen. Oxygen gives life, but it also kills. It's explosive and corrosive. It can turn iron to rust. Imagine what it can do to our bodies. Inside our cells, oxygen breaks down into molecules called free radicals. Free radicals are destructive. They can damage any cell in the body. Worst of all, they strike at our genes. With every breath, oxygen is slowly killing us. But some animals have an armor that protects them. Birds hardly show any signs of aging. The wild budgerigar lives for up to 15 years, yet still appears young and healthy. Professor Steve Austin believes this is because of the budgie's ability to withstand the devastating effects of oxygen. Well, these birds uh, are exceptionally long lives, so we're looking at, into their cells to ask, how do they manage to resist oxygen as well as they do? Steve is trying out a simple experiment. He's going to expose cells taken from different animals to pure oxygen. The first cells have been taken from a budgerigar, and just as Steve expects, the oxygen has little effect. But when cells from a mouse are exposed to the same amount of oxygen, this time the results are quite different. In just a few seconds, the oxygen devastates the mouse cells. But what the budgerigars are doing on the cellular level is that they've developed an enormous capacity to withstand oxygen. They do not have their cells damaged to the same extent, and their cells survive much, much better than mouse cells or even human cells. Steve believes birds are able to resist oxygen attack because their cells are packed with powerful defenses 
called antioxidants. If he's right, then antioxidants could help us increase our lifespan.